had to pick up the little thing there, the little <clears throat> the little lid. Had to had to pick it up. It was covering the camera. How you doing, everybody? Um, I already before this started, I started getting text messages from you. I may have bitten off a little more than I can chew. I'm gonna try to um read some of these. I'm getting a lot already, it looks like, all at the same exact moment. TJ Pierce said, what's up, Jack? Not much, TJ. Thank you for asking. Andy Lovett said, hope you got my check in the mail. All right, let me, I'm going to respond to this one personally. Oh, oh, I see. That's right. That's right. Okay, here we go. Let me look. Um, oh, look at this. Oh, look, this is great. Okay, yes, I'm going to respond. Some of this is... Uh... <laughs> okay, great. Yep. I'm going to take care of it. I don't personally take care of it. Somebody's asking about a um, purchase. I don't personally take care of it, but I relay everything to customer service, and then they make sure that they do. So I'm, yes, I'm going to make sure that this gets taken care of. Very, very good. Lexi said, hey, love your videos. Can you please say Hey, Lexi. Just did. Hey, Lexi. Um, Chris Mindel said, please bring back the bad employee skit. It's my favorite. I'm so glad you said that, Chris, because I loved doing those. Those were so cool. And actually, how the bad employee thing started was through a TV show I started filming called Bloopers, uh, with Dick Clark Productions, and it was, I think, around 2012 or something, and we went into a grocery store, and I got these these videos of me um, doing ridiculous things in, like, an employee's apron and stuff. And uh, this one lady in particular, I remember she put it, she got her gallon of milk, and she put it right in the top section of her cart there, and she was so just she was shopping and then she went back to get some cheese or something or whatever and then I walked up as an employee grabbed the jug of milk undid the thing look, 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 put it down the thing on the top and acted like it was no big deal and if I remember correctly I think she was like you can find that video online by the way I think she was like uh that's my milk what are you doing I'm like yeah yeah no it's fine I put the lid back on it just <laughs> pretended to be kind of dumb uh Patrick Frereman said, read this, JK, you rock, Jack. I read it anyway, even though you said JK. Um, a lot of people are asking if I actually get these text messages, and I know it sounds crazy because a lot of people do this texting thing, and part of it is a ploy to get, you know, everybody puts this number out there so that they can get, it's almost like an email list or something like that. Like, when, if you want to know updates, you can reach out to people and give them updates and and coupon codes and, you know, all that kind of stuff, know what I'm up to. Um, but I really wanted it to be more than that. I don't care how many. I don't care if it's 50,000. I really want to go through. I want to take a designated amount of time uh, every day, go through these comments, be able to respond, talk to you guys, and communicate. And sometimes, you know, things grab my attention and I want to respond to it and stuff like that. It's very cool. Ricardo says, today is Passover Jack. Shalom from Florida and blessings to you and your family. Thank you, Ricardo. God bless you and thank you for, uh, for reminding me of that. Ed Crespo just said hi. Um, very nice. Here, I'm going to click refresh. Here we go. Antonio said, I love your videos. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Nicole C. <laughs> Nicole. Nicole's watching Curious George and she wanted me to know that. Um. <laughs> Chris, Chris Santos. No, look. Oh, I didn't respond. Oh, look, Chris says I haven't responded to him yet. He actually signed up the other day. You're right, Chris. I sent you the uh, coupon code and that was it. Um, dude, Chris, what's going on, man? He said, but you don't respond to homie? What's it? Hey, good to hear from you, buddy. Uh, I, I just responded. Uh, Shannon Proctor said, call me something. Okay, Shannon, I'm wise to you. Okay. I'm wise to you. People try to get me to say stuff that's inappropriate by saying it's their name. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and this one's actually pretty, pretty inappropriate. So 
I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say this name. Uh, Dixie is the first name. I'll, I'll, I'll say that. That was the first name. The rest of you who know these jokes, you're probably going to get it. Craig Hughes said, hello, Jack. Hi, Craig. Hi, Josh. Um, wow, this is wonderful. Look at this. What's up, Jack? Anyone ever tell you that you look like, oh my gosh, a less high version of Jim Brewer? Yes, I get it all the time. Jim, here's a funny little story that some of you may or may not know. Jim is mistaken for me a lot of times, and I am mistaken for him. This is something that's been going on for a number of years now. And um, Jim started to wonder, who the heck is this Jack Vale guy? <laughs> and, uh, of course, I never wondered that. People started saying, I never thought of it, but people were started to say, you look like this guy. And I figured it out immediately, and I agree with it wholeheartedly. Jim and I became good friends because of these worlds, different worlds, actually, that we live in. While they both represent comedy, mine is on social media and in the realm of pranks, and his is stand-up. So we have this independent uh, respect, I would say, for each other and what we do. Doing pranks is very different than other forms of comedy. Um, I actually really don't like doing or I should say trying to do stand-up comedy. And I have a lot of respect for people who do it well, especially Jim Brewer. Um, Jim is very animated, and he's just kind of like, he's got this face that you never forget. And you see this face when you go see him on stage. He's just like he is in his you know, movies and stuff. He's a good actor, but he's got this thing about his face. Like when he tells stories... He's just, he's going to tell the story the way he's going to tell it. And then he's going to freeze his face like that for a little while. You know, he's just, he's so funny and so active on stage. And um, one time I was at a hotel in, I'm going to read some more of these in a minute, I promise. But sign up for this. Text me and I'm going to read this in a minute. Um, but one time I was at a hotel in New York. And Jim came to the front to pick me up. And we were going to go to dinner. And he asked me, have you ever been to Hell's Kitchen? And I said, no, I have heard about it in movies and stuff. And that was about it. And Jim, Jim goes, um, I get in the car. We caught up for a second, you know, whatever. And I'm really anxious to find out where we're going. He was taking me to some Italian restaurant. And um, so I sit in the car. And we head down the road. It wasn't very far because I was already kind of in that district, I guess, or whatever they call it. And um, he starts telling me what to expect when we get to this place. He goes, it's a great place to eat. You know, and he, <laughs> I'm like, all right, man, I can't wait. So when we get there, okay, there's this little guy. He's going to come serve the table, okay? He's like, owns a place or something. His name's Guido, all right? And I said, all right. Good. Sounds good. Sounds like the Italian, you know, the New York. I'm going to get the whole New York experience. And then Jim starts telling me what to expect out of this place and out of this guy, Guido. We're having a great time. He meets us at the door and everything. It happened exactly like Jim said. He said, he's a little short guy. He's going to come up. Don't make eye contact. You're just going to he's like tell me what to do and stuff, all these rules. I'm like, okay. We were like some of the only people there. There wasn't very many people at the restaurant. In fact, we were the last people to actually leave the restaurant. When I got there in Hell's Kitchen, I swear, it everything happened exactly the way he said it was going to happen. Here's the guy. He knows Jim, takes real good care of us, does all this kind of stuff. Then all of a sudden, we get up to leave, and we start heading out to the door. And... <clears throat> The guy, Guido, meets us at the door. He goes there and he locks the door. And Jim turns to me and he goes, I think this is the, this is the time where we get whacked. And I'm like, I don't think so. I don't, I don't think this is that time. I still to this day don't know why he locked the door. But Guido unlocked the door, how kind of him, and let us on out of the restaurant It, you know, 11 o'clock or whatever it was at night. And um, 
I just, I'll never forget that everything was exactly the way Jim said it was going to be. It was almost as if it was scripted. Like it was something that he planned out or something like that. It wasn't though. It was all real and natural. Anyways, Jim um, kind of tells stories sometimes the way that he tells stories on stage. If you've never seen Jim Brewer in, in uh, you know, like do a show, do yourself a favor and go, go see it. Um, if you're anywhere in the East Coast, in New York or Jersey or somewhere around there, I would think it would be easy because um, that's where he's from. But anyways, um, Jim Brewer, for those of you that don't know, Saturday Night Live, Half Baked. Um, and um, I've been told a lot that I look like a less high version of Jim Brewer, by the way. A lot. All right, let's see what we got here. Here we go. Adam Zeke texted me just now and said, hey, Jack, what's up? Um, Matt said, um, back after Palm Sunday, Mass Blessed Holy Week. Cool. Bridget said, start. Uh, oh, greetings from Fort Wayne, Indiana. And then she said, start. I'm not sure why she said start. She probably meant fart. And it auto-corrected to start. I don't, I don't really know. But hi, Bridget. I'm watching. By the way, if you're, oh, look, Bridget's right there. Wait, I just, I just seen it. Bridget, Bridget, greetings. There she is. She just said it right there. <laughs> Can, is it loud in the other room, by the way? Is it loud? Um, hey, has anybody here ever seen the very, very first? Hey, hold on. I'm going to go back to that in a minute. I am Batman said I am in hospital after, uh, from heart surgery. Love videos. Dan, Dan, we're going to be praying for you to pull through this. Uh, I, I hope that you do really well. And, um, Lord, I pray for Dan right now in the hospital that you would bless him, let him feel your presence near him, and that you would give him a full recovery. In Jesus' name, amen. There you go. See, I don't just fart. I pray for people, too. Um, <laughs> that goes together, right? Um, all right, let me, let me keep doing this here. How much are the pooters? I think they're like 15 bucks. Uh, they're on the pooter.com. Uh, Jack, the funniest thing you ever did was the businessman meeting you did in Colorado. Thank you, Rob. I appreciate that. Rob Wall just said that. I did this. I went to Colorado to do this, um, this, this big like business meeting type of thing. They had me come out and talk about my pooter business and how it started and social media stuff and all this. And so the night before the event, they had me actually go in to where they had this big corporate meeting and I farted on people. It's called farting at a business conference maybe or con or business meeting or something like that. Look up farting on business, Jack Vale, and you're going you're gonna to find it for sure. Kyle Bartow said, can I meet you someday? I don't live far from you. Smyrna, daughter and I watch your pooter videos. Thank you, Kyle. Smyrna is just right around the corner from me. I'm in Franklin and uh, we should definitely do that. Hey, I'm doing good, Nicholas. How are you, buddy? What, family's doing good. Everybody's doing good. Look at Vicky. Uh, request on Facebook. Is it really you? Oh, request on Facebook. Is it really you or... Oh. Oh. That's right. Okay, so there's some weird Facebook page out there, just so you know. And it's... It's, it's some scam. It's, it's not, look at the amount of followers and whatnot. It's just a scam. It's something, some kind of a Jack Vale prize giveaway thing. It's really lame. And I'm getting a bunch of these screenshots today. People are writing to me about this. It's not real, Vicky. Uh, Jaden Robinson. Man, I started watching your videos almost 10 years ago. With my, started with my father just showing me an elevator farting video. And love these ever since. I hope your channel stays alive for a very long time. Also, your videos are very funny, of course. Thank you, Jaden. That means a lot to me. I appreciate that. I'm so happy that uh, people are still, after all this time, still watching my stupid videos. Just silly, silly, silly. TJ Pierce says, um, Bada Pooter can't get it to work right. Any suggestions? Yeah, I will. Oh, look, there's one right here. <laughs> let, me get some, let me get some chapstick. I, I didn't realize that I had a pooter right here, and it's funny because it was sitting right here in front of the laptop, and before I went live, I looked for a pooter in my room, couldn't find one, my office, couldn't find one. 
Bird's bees, good for your lips and your pooter hole. Uh, it's technically, that is, that is what it is. All right. Chapstick. That's my biggest tip. Chapstick helps because it creates a little bit of a seal. It's waxy, so it sticks to your hand. You don't want Vaseline or anything slippery like that. People ask me all the time, what if you rub? That doesn't work. It makes it slide around. It makes it sound weird. Um, chapstick's good because it's sticky, and what you want to do is create this kind of airtight seal. There you go. See? Ooh. I like this one. Ooh, I like this one. Come on. I'm like the guy at the carnival who can do the, the game the right every single time and win a prize. I, I can do this with the pooter every single time. I love it. Okay, let me read some more stuff. Let's read some more stuff. Uh, lo we love you in Alabama, Jack. Keep farting, buddy. William Holloway said that. Thank you, William. Uh, I love you. I love you guys in Alabama too. I'm so sad to hear that five people died. I think yesterday, um, in that uh, in those that tornado or something. And we were sitting here in Tennessee, you know, watching because it was supposedly going to come to us too. And tonight there's supposed to be one. Um, man, just terrible. I hate I hate seeing that. Uh, Justin Timberlake wrote and said, "Come on." Is this really you, Jack, or is it someone else checking and responding? Well, now you know, Justin, okay, that it's really me because I'm reading your comment on the air. Brian Neal said, do you ever really fart without the pooter? Of course, I do. Too much. Um, Quinn Frude said, hello. Ernie said, why don't I taste grape in grapefruit? Which I really think is a good point, don't you? Such a great point. Hey, let me let me see. I'm starting to miss. Oh, look, that one guy sent a super chat. Thank you very much. And said you smell like cottage cheese and tree branches. Yeah, I know. Another super chat from Vicky. Thank you, Vicky. Appreciate that. Thanks for being sort of personal with us. <laughs> <laughs> sort of Vicky um hopefully I'm hopefully I'm being very oh Jonathan Goldner I'm sorry I'm slacking um hi Jack keep farting thank you Jonathan for the super chat thank you for your support a rather large super chat by the way thank you Mike M see I'm going in reverse now I'm sorry I didn't see him before because I was too being too you know loud mouthed I guess. Uh, please, can we do a Walmart video? I live in Franklin. Oh, dude. You live in my... This is my town, too. I love... I, I really like Franklin, man. I'm so glad that we we uh, moved here. And yeah, man. I we're, You know what? I have been telling my assistant that we need to plan like a, um, a meetup. Again, because I felt so bad when we first moved here three years ago. We did a meetup at Big Shake's Hot Chicken on Murfreesboro. Mike knows what I'm talking about if he lives in Franklin. And that's my favorite hot chicken place. I love it. And uh, we did this meetup, and it was, gr it was great. I announced it like the night before. So, you know, we, we had, I don't know maybe 40 or 50 people there or something like that. It was, it was really fun. And, um, I haven't done one since. I think I've done five of those in uh, my entire, in probably in the past 10 years, something like that. I, I haven't done very many. Let me keep looking, make sure I didn't miss any super chats. Uh, oh, Jamie Darden just did one. Hang on, I'm going to confront it in a second. Um, Saturday Night Live. Saturday Night Live with Jim Brewer. Stand in Jack Vale. Um, I was sorry. I was reading com reading some comments. <laughs> whoever you, whoever didn't see that comment was probably like Jack's weird. He says a lot of weird random stuff for no reason. 
Um, still going up, up, up. Sorry, I'm scrolling up the comments to make sure that I didn't miss any super chats. Unfortunately, I cannot. If you want me to read your comment, text me and I'll read it. Um, and I have to do it that way because I can't read all of this. Um, J uh, William Ray one just did a super chat. Thanks for everything you do, Jack. Thank you, William. I appreciate that, man. Dang, look, I love this. Kaylin Bucky, now or Buckley, I'm sorry, Kaylin Buckley says, dang, man, this community texting thing is kind of a scam. Otherwise, I would love to text you. See, I don't understand how it's a scam. I'm literally reading your texts right now, responding to them, and communicating with you. That's not a scam. Unless, unless you're mad at the fact that, like, I'm, I'm going to, like, be sending you links and coupon codes from time to time and, you know, special things like that. But, I mean, a lot of that stuff's going to have free stuff, too. And don't do it. Listen, do not text me if you don't want to know what's going on or you hate those little messages, you know, oh, gosh, he's getting another text. I'm not going to text you, first of all, hardly ever. You can ask the people who are here now and are already members. You can ask them. They will tell you, excuse me, everybody. Have, have I been communicating one-on-one -on -one with you? Yes or no? And watch this. The comments are going to start coming. They're going to say yes, yes, yeah. They're going to start saying yes, you've been talking to us. And I know it sounds crazy, but I'm spending a lot of time on this, you guys. I really want to build kind of a more personal connection. And um, also, I want to take advantage of the fact that, look, I want to prank your family members, friends. Um, I want to do special groups and meetups and the stuff that consists of only people there. Um, so that's why it's kind of important to me. I really like it. I'm enjoying it. I'm having a really good time with it. And let me read some more. Uh, let me go all the way to the... Oh, Bob Dylan's on here, everybody. Trey just said, yes, he does. He knows. Trey knows. Oh, Ben Black just gave me a super chat. I can't believe it. Okay. Thank you, Ben. Look, I'm going to keep going. Harvey Beeks just texted me and said, hello, Jack. The best moment you did. Oh, <laughs> let me see. The best moment you did was the guy in Target called you farting in my wife's face and then and and the Walmart rip video. Oh, the new. Yeah, that one's pretty new. My username is Harvey Beeks on YouTube. Harvey Beeks on YouTube, everybody. Um, please do fart prank at Big Lots next, if possible. You know, that's one thing, that's one place I don't think I have ever been. Con, I'm being careful saying names, so I don't want to say the wrong thing. Sometimes I'm a little slower at getting it. Jillian Summers said, hey, Jack, I'm watching your live stream. My name is Jillian. I'm a cousin of yours from California. It would be so cool if you said hi. Okay, listen, I don't know everybody in my family. And sometimes, I'm so sorry, if I don't know by name, then we're just gonna have to get a little closer and figure that out. Jillian Summers from California. Um, everybody say hello to my cousin, Jillian from California. Dakota Kennedy, I'm watching you live right now and I love your videos. Thank you, Dakota, appreciate that. Um. Sam Caudill, Caudill or Cuddle? Jack, super cool. Glad I caught you live. You are the man. Hey, thank you. I appreciate that. How do we send a super chat? Michael Barton said. Good question. I think there is a, isn't there like a little dollar sign or something that says super chat on your live feed for YouTube? I think that's right. Um, Jillian, Jillian, <laughs> Jillian says, don't worry, dude. I've just wanted to meet you for a few years. <laughs> it's okay. It wouldn't surprise me if you were some cousin that I didn't, because I have a big extended family, but I don't, in California, I'm trying to think maybe by marriage or by something. Anyways, um, <laughs> uh, what's up, everybody? See, everybody's, everybody's telling you hello, too. Uh, what city do you live, Harvey said, in Tennessee? I live in Franklin, Tennessee. 
Franklin, Tennessee. All right. What else do we have? Do I have more to do I have more to catch up on? Yes. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yes. You are the best. Lots of hearts. That is from Judith Acosta. Juan Terza says hi. Isaac, can you say my name? I can, Isaac. Isaac R. God bless you and thank you so much for signing up to text me. Now we can communicate one on one. This is very cool. Rebecca. Meyer or Mayor, I think it's Mayor, says, Hey Jack, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, Rebecca. I'm doing really good. It's storming outside. But uh, I don't mind that. I like that. Oh, Sam Cottle says, don't forget I'm Bob Dylan in YouTube. Okay, so whenever you guys see Bob Dylan pull up here, write, write in messages, that's actually Sam. Don't forget that. Emily said, I watch Sued for Farting Daily, and it still makes me laugh my A off every time. Never gets old. Um, that's one of my favorites, too. Oh, you got you ready? Okay, hang on one second. I'll be right there. Uh, that's one of my favorites, too. I love the fact that she exaggerated and tried to tell people I farted all over her. Not just on her or near her, all over her. Like I straddled her to the floor and just up and down, just, you know, from her head to her feet, just letting it rip. I, I got every inch of her. I think she exaggerated a little bit. Daryl Longston, uh, no, Daryl Logston, sorry, says love the farting puppy. Thank you very much. Um, that was a, that was kind of a newer video. That was fun. Gary, you're a class act, Jack. Wow, thank you. You're real, and I like it. I like the shh on yourself video. Um, I do. I do too. That's that's actually that's a good one. Uh, Patrick Marchand has a really good point. He says, "Why do they call it a pair?" of panties but only one bra i it's such a good it's such a good point see this is why i like to com communicate one-on-one -on -one with you guys you know i mean it's phenomenal the stuff that you come up with it's such a good point uh jim stew said glad to see that you escaped california i'm a fellow California refugee. <laughs> we moved to Texas two years ago from Chico, California. Fart on, my friend, or fart on my friend. I'm not sure which way he means this. Does he want me to fart on his friend or just he's telling me fart on my friend? I don't know. But Jim, guess what, Jim? I know Chico very well because my original stomping grounds happens to be Redding, California. So we were like an hour apart, dude. Um, and we we went from Redding to Roseville and then from Roseville to Huntington Beach. And then we ended up moving here. So uh we've been we were in California for a very long time. We've been here for three years now. Tommy Jack Jax or Jacquez? Jacquez, Jacquez. I think it that's what it is. Tom Jox. Uh, oh, Tom Jocks. Look at that. Interesting. Tom Jocks here. I say hi from Milwaukee. Will you ever team up with Ross Creations in his vlogs? Also, do a sharding episode as an idea for next time. Okay. I could work on that. I've never done that before. Ross Creations. Yes. You know, I think that we DM'd each other recently. Uh, not long ago actually. So we're in, we're in touch. We, maybe we'll have to, you know, we'll have to do something soon. John from Greenville, South Carolina, your farts bring joy to my life. Thank you so much. Rob Wall, my biggest jokes as a kid were the stink bombs. We used to break those in school all the time. I got suspended three times over it. Eric, what's up, Eric? I, yes, yes, yes. We did. We talked recently, uh, just a couple days ago. And by the way, this is somebody just reminding me that we talked the other day. Now, at first, I might not remember, but then I do remember. And I'll read a whole, I'm going to read a whole thing to you. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Conversation between me and Eric. Eric, long time sub. Just want to say hi. I noticed the video too late. Is this Jack? I says, hey, Eric, sorry you missed the show tonight, but I will probably do one tomorrow. Yep. This is Jack. That's what I said. Okay, cool. 
I'll be sure to watch. Been thinking about getting a pooter. I said, go get you one. Uh, then I sent him a coupon code for a pooter. <laughs> and then he said, hey, Jack, I talked to you a couple days ago, which he said just now. Uh, my point is that, look, isn't this fun? I love this so much. We're communicating. We're talking one-on-one. -on -one. I just got a text. I knew it. Uh, what? Lisa? What? Oh, 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 I'm not sure what she said. Okay, see, I shouldn't have done that to you because then if I don't read the message, you know what I mean? Then what? Anyway, okay. Uh, I don't, I'm not, never mind. Forget it. ADD up here. Little ADD up here. Oh, great. I know. I know. Real bullets. <sighs> What's that a reference from? Or a reference to anybody know? Anybody know? The, for the first person who can tell me what that was a reference from is going to be pretty awesome. Uh, how do I get him to read my message? See, this tells me Keith Marlowe. Hold on. <laughs> I must have missed somebody i missed somebody let me look here nope i don't see oh i do not see you texting me keith that's why i didn't read the message i'm sorry um i, I just looked you up in my thing i don't even i have two keiths and you're not one of them it looks like that's why i didn't read it just so you know heads up um Oh, it is sad to paradise. I know what happened to paradise. My goodness, Rebecca just said. Uh, Claire says, how's Uncle John? Will you guys make more pranks together? I love your videos. This is Jackie from Massachusetts. Love the pooter. Use it on my husband all the time. That's only, uh, that's only when I don't have to actually fart, Jackie says. Uh, Keith says, are you seeing my messages? Oh, he is on here. What? How come I couldn't find? Oh, I know, what ha I know, I know how I missed it. You're the funniest YouTube ever, he said. Thank you, Keith. Uh, say hi to Nick and Lloyd. Hi, Nick and Lloyd. Are those your kids? Who is that? Uh, you're the best YouTuber ever. Thank you. Are you getting my messages? Can you please prank my family? I will give you their phone numbers. Yes. Let's do it. Let's orchestrate a specific... I have a great idea. This is what we're going to do, you guys. Are you ready for this? I've been, sorry about the music. If you hear music, it's in the garage. My kid, most likely, and my nephew, who's here visiting, are in there rocking out. So if you hear anything in the background, that's, I guarantee you, that's what it is. Uh, oh, did I get a, hold on, I'm going to come back to this because I just had a great idea, but I have to see because I think I saw a super chat from Michael Barton. Got it, Jack. You are the recipient of my first super chat. By the way, I lived in Chico, too. Wow, amazing. Cal Skate was a place for fun way back then. Yeah, Cal Skate. We had a Cal Skate in my hometown of Lodi, California, by the way. Cal Skate. Cal Skate. Haven't thought of that name forever. Remember Couples Night in the 80s? Couples Night. We're all nervous about it. There's a girl there that you liked or whatever. You had to ask her, you want to go on to her? And go on to her? She was like heck embarrassed about it. And she was like, <laughs> and then I was like, <laughs> and then you just reach down, you're like, <laughs> and she's like, <laughs> and then you go out there and you're like, <laughs> couples night, ladies and gentlemen, couples night at Calscape. Um, anybody else that I got to say thank you to? All right, I'm doing my best. All right, I love you guys. I can't stay on for too much longer. I'm sorry. I know it's only been a half hour. I try to stay on here for, oh, literally crazy uh, Lisa. Wow. I you, So you're being serious. She lived f f in, f in paradise. I can't believe it. Born in paradise. Unbelievable. Now when I hang up, I'm calling you when we have to discuss this. This is amazing. Who knew? Who knew? So if you... Paradise, and you probably know where Lodi is, by the way. I'll just talk to you in private.
private later. Okay, I'll call you and we'll share stories and whatever. Okay. Uh, let me see here. Anything up? Anything else? Uh, what else do we have? Oh, look at that. Super chat from DB1 Journeys. Thank you, my friend. How nice of you. Pair character bowling down saying, yes, that's what it is. Look at that. It's in quotes. Interesting. Hey, thank you for your, um, for your support. Uh, American Graffiti, yes, yes, yes. That's right. Um, <laughs> Jack is going to sell your numbers and personal info to the Russians as a prank. <laughs> this is my plan. Yes. <laughs> and they'll be none the wiser. I would never do that, by the way. Never not in a million years. This is for me and you. And for us to communicate and only us. <sighs> Here's a little bonus for you. I hope you're not using the toilet. It's broken. Huh? Here's another little bonus for you. Welcome. Those are just little. I, they're just little bonuses. That's all. Isn't that fun? Isn't that fun? Uh, yes, it is. Except for this one. Oh, great! Real bullets. That's the three amigo. Three amigos is my one of my favorite favorite movies. By the way, to this day, love it. Say hi to my wife on live. Cassie is her name. Hello, Cassie. Trailer. Harvey Beeks is writing again. Oh, look at this. <laughs> he said, Harvey said to me, locations now in Franklin where I can go fart it up. Ooh, fart it up. Fart it up. You know, my buddy Tom Mabe did this thing for a long time called prank it up. He might even own that phrase. I could do fart it up. Fart it up. I like that. Colin Marshall. Um... Look at this. Uh, my name's Colin. Just wondering. I was wondering because if it, it I, it's hard to read this one. Hold on. Would would one of those loadable cards you can get from Dollar General work as payment on your website to buy a pooter? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, people pay for pooters with gift cards all the time. William, um, when you get a chance, would you call me too, Jack? I'd love to tell you about my family. Oh, so nice, Eli. Hello. Hello, hello. Alex Crabtree from Virginia has written, Can you talk about the new Johnny Cash film and your connection to the legend? Alex, I would like to say, if you don't mind, to please watch my new movie, The Cash Family Untold Story. It's called The Long Road Home, and it's filled with interviews from Johnny Cash's family. It's about drug and alcohol addiction substance abuse, a lot of things you didn't know about the inside of the Cash family. Uh, you can watch this documentary right now. It's a, it's a feature documentary film. It's an hour long. It's, it's at cashfamilystory.com. One more time, cashfamilystory.com. Hope you all enjoy it, and I hope you all have enjoyed this live stream. Um, is there anything else? Um, here's a really weird, for one of the first videos I ever made on YouTube. After I think I only uploaded a couple of pranks, I did this really weird Heinz ketchup commercial. Here you go. <laughs> That's Chris. He's 21 now. 
been in the business a long time. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, oh, there goes his fry. What's he gonna do? <laughs> What's he gonna do? He's still gonna eat it. Gross. Okay. This lady is mortified because she wanted to eat the fry. Uh, I know. You can't ever unsee that commercial once you've seen it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Uh, it was fun. It was fun to make. A little morbid, but, you know, whatever. Loki just sent a super chat. Me and my dad used to watch you together when he was still alive. We, oh, we both loved watching you. Please bring back the farting grandpa. I just did one not very long ago. I went to... Um, it's Old Man Harry, and it's a realistic flesh, like a silicone mask that I wear. And um, I just did it. I went to Walmart and shot this video just down the street a few months back. Watch it. Look for my most recent Old Man Farting video. I think you really enjoy it. My, my stepdad died at 94, and it was fart jokes all along the way until the very end. Guess how proud he was of me that I accomplished this. Uh, and figured out a way to make a living producing <laughs> fart sounds. Proud, ladies and gentlemen. He was proud. Uh, I love you guys. Thank you for texting me. And even after this live stream ends right now, it is about to, um, I am still going to be responding tonight to your messages. So keep texting me. And... Um, Let's keep, let's stay in touch and let's keep doing this, okay? Guess what? I really, really love you guys and I really appreciate you sticking around for this ridiculous stuff. And um, let's do it again, maybe tomorrow. All right? I'll see you guys later. I love you.